In the last days before the voting day, candidate Joe Biden holds a rally in Philadelphia. And it is not a coincidence, because Pennsylvania is his native state, with Philadelphia its most populated city. However, rallies here are held in accordance with a new scheme due to a coronavirus disease. Crowds are not allowed here, and those who come fill up the registration in advance and arrive with their own cars. Quite few journalists are here either, but we managed to see how everything is organized from the inside. The Vice President Biden is going to speak to, uh, to his base and uh, get us pumped up and get us over the home so we can be victorious on November 3rd. I'm here because I believe in Joe Biden and restoring decency to the White House. I'm here because of climate change. I'm here because the pandemic made me lose my job and we need someone to... Um, to put in a plan. We need a plan to combat coronavirus. Here now candidate Joe Biden is arriving to meet his supporters. He's going to meet people that are waiting for him in the park, sitting in their vehicles. But this is a president who won't even stand up to Vladimir Putin for putting bounties on the head of American soldiers serving Afghanistan. He's too scared to challenge it. He's Putin's puppy. That's who he is. Donald Trump's not strong. It makes me angry. Donald Trump's not strong. He's weak. While Biden spoke to his supporters, a group of supporters of Donald Trump came to the park. However, they were not allowed in by the Secret Service guarding the event held by Democrats. So the streets is closed right now. That's it. Biden will want to I can't speak for Biden. I'm just saying. В самой Филадельфии вот уже несколько дней, как объявлен комендантский час. Philadelphia itself imposed a curfew several days ago. The National Guard deployed in the city. This happened due to protests that had erupted in the city last Monday after the murder of Walter Wallace. Tomorrow the election race ends and Americans finally to decide whom to entrust their country for the next four years, Biden or Trump. Reported by Alexey Matsuka, Nick Starkov for UATV News.